Welcome to your source for research innovation news, insights, and commentary. Your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Precision Opinion. For phone, focus, and online, the most trusted name in market research. Last week, Forrester Research released results from a 395 marketer study. Some perceived its commentary about Facebook as a rhetorical pile driver. This week, Forrester has released research from the same study. This time, it's on Twitter. According to the newly released aspects of the report, 60% of companies say they are using Twitter for their marketing, and 55% told Forrester they're satisfied with Twitter's business value when they apply it. 51% are satisfied with the paid ads that they're putting on the network, and 53%, by the way, as a comparison, are satisfied with the value promoting updates to a branded Facebook page. Nate Elliott, the Forrester analyst who put his name to the report, suggests many marketers are using Twitter incorrectly. The most common objective, he says, of Twitter marketing users seems to be building brand awareness. But Elliott remarked they would have more luck with Twitter if they use it as a loyalty builder. And yet only 13% in this report say that that has been their main intent in its use. Forrester also suggests that the Twitter audience is smaller than the 230 million accounts that log into the service at least once every month. Now, that's not really new news. Quote, do the math, the report concludes, and most marketers will find that Twitter offers them a chance to reach tens of millions rather than hundreds of millions of people, end of quote. On the plus side, Elliot noted the relative newness of Twitter's marketing business and his belief that it is heading in the very correct direction, including targeting users based on what TV shows they watch. Next, what's the state of copy test advertising? Well, it's a mixed bag. So we asked decision analyst president Jerry Thomas to put things in their proper perspective for us, and he was more than pleased to sit down and explain things. Bob, I think that one of the overarching trends is a, a trend away from testing advertising. Uh, partly because in the world of so many choices of, of different media, advertising media and limited budgets, um, commercials are being produced inexpensively and quickly. And the thought of going and spending ten or $20,000 to test it just seems out of character. But for whatever reason, I think the big hidden story is that advertising testing is really in decline as a proportion of all the advertising content. I think it means that more and more marketing dollars are being wasted on advertising that's ineffective. And when we go out and test ads, roughly half of all ads have little positive effect. Mm. Do you have clients who recognize that? I think many leading consumer goods companies understand the importance of advertising testing and the importance of pre-testing their ads and testing the strategy. But once you get outside of that consumer goods world, I think understanding of the power of advertising and how to manage it and how to test it is very, uh, very weak. I mean, if you're going to spend a lot of money on media advertising, you really ought to test the advertising. How, because much, is, how much is a lot of money? Well, a minimum would be five to 10 million. It, it, when you start getting into that level, you really ought to be testing your ads. It takes 20 to $30 million today to move the needle nationwide with an advertising campaign. So certainly by the time you get up to that level, you must test your advertising because one ad can be 10 times more effective than another ad. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the effect, really, of social media been uh, on advertising research? I think it's introduced a vast uh, hope that we can advertise for nothing, that we can advertise for free. Um, it's injected massive confusion in marketing departments and ad agencies trying to figure out how to 
use this this new media. And it certainly has been an explosive growth, and, and, it, and it has a, a place and a role to play, but I don't think it replaces the traditional media. It's, it's supplements, perhaps. It's certainly something to put in the plan, but it doesn't replace traditional media. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by Precision Opinion. For phone, focus, and online, the most trusted name in market research. Check things out at their homepage, precisionopinion.com, and find out why this company has been growing so explosively during the past two years. Have a great research day. Best of luck with the rest of your business week. Enjoy the weekend, and we will see you back here on Monday.